Hello, and today we're going to talk about Digo. Most of you are familiar with Facebook, and you know how that works, how you can uh, post your status and keep in touch with people. Uh, but Digo is a lot like that, except it can do a couple of things that Facebook is not really intended to do. As you're surfing the web and you find a good website that you like, you can save that website off. All of us know how to bookmark, but this allows you to bookmark it to a place on the web where you can find it from any device that you have. It also allows you to share your bookmarks with other people. So let me, uh, let's get started and I'll show you how to get a Digo account, how to install Digo, how to use the tools, and we'll kind of discuss some of the ways that Digo can be useful to you. So let me get started. I'm going to launch Chrome here and we're going to get started. So the first thing I want to do is I want to go to Digo, digo.com, D-I-I-G-O. And it's going to bring me to Digo. I'm going to sign out here so that you can kind of see how this is going to work. So when you get to Digo, you're going to see this screen, and it's going to give you. It has a little video that you can watch here, and this little pane tells you what Digo can do. It can highlight. It can put sticky notes on a website. Um, it can save documents and images and notes and bookmarks. So Digo is a pretty useful tool, and let's get into it. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to join Digo. And it's just like joining anything else. You choose a username, you give it your first and last name, your email, and your password and whatnot. If you don't want to do all this and you have a Facebook account, a Twitter, a Google account, or a Yahoo account, you can simply click here, put your password in for one of those, and it will do it that way. In fact, that's what I've done. I've used my Google account. So now every time I want to sign into Digo, I click on Google here. It asks me which account I used. I click the one I, that I used and it's going to log me in. Now, the first thing it's going to do is it's going to take me to my library. It's always going to take me to my library. But before we talk about that, I want to show you how to make Digo useful for you. The first thing that you want to do is you want to look up here for a link that says Tools. Click on Tools, and it's going to, it's going to show you all the ways that you can use this. And I'm going to walk you through these. Right now, I'm using Google Chrome. And so to, you, to get the best out of Google Chrome, I'm going to look down here under Extensions and Web Apps, and it says Web Highlighter for Chrome. When I click on that, it's going to take me to their page. Well, it's actually going to take me to the Chrome Store, and it's going to add, allow me to add this to Chrome. Now, if I hadn't have already added it, I would click Install Now. And as you can see, if you look up here on my right side, I have a little D. This is Digo. So when I click this, it's going to show me all the tools that I have in Digo. I can annotate, I can tag, I can read later, screenshot, share this page. In fact, I have more tools than that even. Down here I can see my options, my groups, my network, my library. So he, these are all the tools that we're going to talk about as we continue going. Um, and this is what the Google, oh, I'm sorry, the Digo uh, extension looks like for Google Chrome. So let me go out of Chrome here. And let me go into Firefox. Um, I'm using a Mac. If you're using a PC, uh, Firefox, Chrome, IE, they all work. And I'm kind of, kind of, I can't obviously walk you through IE, but I'll walk you through Chrome, Firefox, and Safari. Um, just so you can see that no matter what browser you're using, uh, you'll be able to use this. So in the same way, here I'm, here I am in Firefox. I'm going to go to Digo, D I I G O dot com. Um, it's going to bring me to the screen. Um, I'm going to log in with my Google account. Oh. Yes. Okay, so here we go. Now that we're in here. Now, if you look up here on Firefox, I don't have any Digo um, extensions. I don't have any Digo tools. I don't have anything. So I'm going to go back here to Tools. I'm going to come down here and it's going to say Digo Toolbar best for power users available for Internet Explorer that's IE and Firefox so I'm gonna click that here I it's gonna know who I am it's gonna know what computer I'm using um, I expect if, it, if you were using Internet Explorer you would just click the green bar the same but you might want to check to see if it says for Internet Explorer here still when you're using Explorer but you're gonna click install Digo toolbar I'm gonna allow it it's gonna show me here it is I'm gonna say go ahead it's gonna restart Firefox 
and here it is. I'm going to have my Digo toolbar now. Now the Digo toolbar can bookmark, it can highlight, it can capture snippets. Um, you can send things to emails. Um, you can share them on Twitter or Facebook. Um, you can read them later. Um, and it'll also be able to show you what's unread, what's recent. So you get a lot of power with this Google, this, I'm sorry, this, this Digo toolbar. Let me go to one more here, and this is uh, Safari. And this is different. You're going to use this on Safari, not only on a computer, but you can also use this on your iPad. And this is really useful, and it's very actually simple to use. So let me show you. I'm going to go here to Digo again. And I'm going to go to Tools. I'm already signed in here. Now, here on the very top it says Bookmarklets. Um, Safari does have um, does not have a Digo extension yet, and I can't use the Digo toolbar on Safari because for whatever reason they haven't made one. But they have something that's almost just as good, and that's called the Digolet. And like I said, you're going to use this on either Safari on a Mac or Safari on your iPad, and it works the exact same way on both. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here on Digolet, and then it says drag this button. This is actually the button to your Bookmarks toolbar. So here's my Bookmarks toolbar up here. So I'm just going to grab it and I'm going to drag it up here. And when I let it go, I get the little plus. I let it go. And there it is. I have my Digolet. Now, to use the Digolet, I don't have a button anywhere. I don't have anything. It looks just like a bookmark. But when I click it, it's going to give me all of my tools here. My highlighter, my bookmark, my sticky note, my read later, my shares. It's, I can go to Digo from here. Um, it's going to tell me who I am logged in right now. So it works almost the same. And it's really neat that it works the same on the Mac and on the iPad. So for all you iPad users out there, this works great. Fortunately, I haven't been able to get it to work on my iPhone because the iPhone doesn't have uh, bookmarks like this. I suppose I could put it in my bookmarks. Um, but for my uses, I have my iPad usually at hand. And so I can uh, save it off or just leave it on there and find it later.